everyone. This is Miss Tara with Niles District Library. This is a fun, messy art project for you to do. And what we are doing, this is masking tape canvas art. You could use regular paper, you could use cardboard, so you could cut up a box and you could paint it. Um, I'm just using canvases because that's what we had here. So I took a regular blank canvas and I put on kind of at random some painter's tape. This is a blue painter's tape and made kind of random little geometric designs. And then I picked out some paint color. And after you put your paint on, and you can make like an actual design with letters, with certain shapes, you can do a heart. I'm just doing this one because I think it will look cool, kind of random and a little bit crazy. All right, so got my paint. And easy peasy, you just paint your squares, whatever color you want. And it doesn't really matter if you go over the lines because you've got painter's tape on there to block it off. All right. Add some beautiful red here. I'll add some red over here, and so on and so forth. I'm going to pause the video real quick so I can finish painting my beautiful painting, and I'll show you what to do when everything's all done. Be right back. All right, friends, I'm back, and I am done with my paint. It looks kind of messy right now, but the painter's tape is going to help us because when I start peeling some of these pieces off, let's see here. Start with this guy here. The lines will be super crisp and clean. It's kind of fun. It's a little destructive to tear them all off like that. Woohoo! Now, for the sake of time in this video, I didn't let this dry as much as I probably should have. So because you're at home and you have the luxury of time, I would probably let this dry, you know, a couple hours or even overnight before you peel the tape off. That way there won't be as much smudging, although it's not too bad. Here we go, this is so fun. All right, so here is my final masking tape paint art project. This is a super easy and fun thing that you can do at home for yourself. Other things that you could do after you're done, you could add some glitter. That could be really cool. You could take a Sharpie and draw an outline of all of your uh, shapes so they're a little bit more crisp, a little bit more art deco looking. But I, I kind of dig it. I like it. So if you'd like to join us for Messy Monday or Teen Art Class, we'll be doing this project. We'll see you next time. Bye friends.